In this video, we will enhance our data model. So in the last video, we have discussed about the star schema and the snowflake schema. And in this video, we will learn about role playing dimensions. For example, here you can see we have a dimension like product, customer, uh, promotion. And uh, I can only use this dimension just for a product. These are the different attributes and I can see like uh, internet sale by product color, uh, product name. And uh, if we use this same dimension for multiple roles, then that dimension will be called role playing dimension. So to understand a role playing dimension, let's add one table here. Just need to click in data source. Click next and here we have one table that is dim date. Finish. Close. And uh, if you look closely, so here you can see we have order date key, due date key and ship date key. So we can fetch all the sales based on ship date, due date and order date and our dimension will be dim date. So we can map single date key with multiple keys here in the internet sales table. So let's drag order date key. So this will be the active relationship. You can see the solar line and then we will map the due date key with the same date key in the dim date. And here you can see the daughter line. This is inactive relationship. And then again, ship date key, drag to date key in the dim date table. And so we have one active relationship and uh, we have two inactive relationship. So we can utilize these inactive relationships with the help of a very useful function in Dux that is called use relationship. So in this way, you have seen that we just created a single date dimension and we are using this dimension for multiple purposes, like for the due date, order date and ship date. The other method is we can just uh, delete this relationship. So this is one method. The other method is we can create uh, th two more tables. So we just need to go here under data source, new table, and then again, dim date. And uh, one more table. Dim date, finish. Then we can just uh, rename it to like uh, ship date, dim ship date. And the other one is dim due date. So here you can see, uh, now we need to drag ship date this is the ship date key to here and uh, for the due date due date key with the date key here so in this way we have created three different tables to handle three different dimensions right now we don't need to use the use relationship function so we have created three different tables so if you create multiple tables for the role playing dimension, then it will increase the size of your data model. If these tables are very big, then the performance will be very bad. So now we have all our relationships are active relationship. So whenever we refresh the data model, 
the, these all three tables will fetch the data from the underlying data source so it will increase the performance problem so what we can do else so let's delete these tables delete we can create calculated tables so that will be referenced to the same table so only this table will fetch the data from the database or from the data source one time and the other tables will will be referenced to that table so how we can do that if we are in the in the data model in, in the diagram view we are not able to create calculated table right so here you can see the new calculated table is is disabled here you can see so how we can do that we just need to go to the grid view this is the grid view and uh, now we need to click the table new calculated table and here we have to use one function all and all will return a table So it is dim date that's it so this is the first table then again we need to create another table dim date so here we have created two date tables that are referenced to the dim date so we just need to change the name so we just need to click the table calculate table one and here you can see under the properties this is the calculate table one so here you can write dim ship date and uh, then the second table and here you can change the name dim due date so these are the two tables right and uh, now we can go to the diagram view so that we can model it so this is the dim ship date the other one is the dim due date so it is very simple as we have done already in the due date key mapped with the date key and the ship date with the ship date key so whenever we will refresh the data only dim data will get all the records from the data source and then dim ship date and the dim due date these are the dynamic tables that that are referenced to the dim date table so only we so only this table need to refresh the other will get the already fetched data from the dim table so in this video you have learned that how we can use the role playing dimension in SSAS tabular. So if you like this video, please subscribe our channel and if you have any questions, please write in the comment section. Thank you.